Hello and welcome back to my channel. Clo 3D has just released its latest update. In this video, I'll be reviewing some of the key features introduced in the new 2025.1 version. Let's jump right in. When you first log into the updated version, you won't notice any major changes to the overall layout. However, you'll see a new icon in the top right corner of the window, the AI Studio feature. In previous versions, different AI tools were scattered across the render window or property editor. Now, with 2025.1, all AI generators are conveniently centralized in one place. Before you can use them, you'll need to activate AI Studio. Log into the Clo 3D website. Go to your account page and select AI Studio plugin from the left menu. Click Edit, accept the terms, then enable all the AI generators you'd like to use. Save your settings, restart Clo 3D, and once you log back in, you'll see the AI Studio icon. Clicking the icon, and it will display the three main tools, AI Render, AI Texture Generator, and AI Graphic Generator. If you've seen my previous tutorials, you're already familiar with AI Render and AI Texture Generator. The updated AI Render Enhancer now lets you generate realistic faces for your render images with more options. Simply upload a render photo, choose gender and age. Write the specific features in prompt and use keywords, then click Generate. If you like the result, preview it on your avatar. Use refine options on hair, hands, and garments to fix small issues. For example, if the hands look distorted, just select Refine Hands, and Clo 3D will automatically improve the image. This update also introduces new gender options, allowing you to select boy, girl, or baby faces. To generate AI backgrounds, upload a render image with a transparent or solid background. Enter a prompt or use suggested keywords. Click Generate, then preview the result. If you're not satisfied, just keep Refresh Preview or Regenerate until you find something that works. You can also upload your own reference image instead typing prompt to guide the result for both background and face. The AI Texture Generator remains the same as previous version. If you'd like to learn more about it, please check out my tutorial of how to design your own fabric print. The new AI Graphic Generator works in a similar way as other AI tools. 
simply select the type of graphic you want to create, write a prompt, and generate the design. For example, I chose Embroidery. Write the description in Prompt and click Generate to see the result. You may need to tweak your prompt a few times to get the best outcome. If writing prompts isn't your strength, tools like ChatGPT can be extremely helpful for crafting clear and detailed descriptions. Overall, I like that Clo 3 d has brought all the AI tools into one easy access location. It definitely streamlines the workflow. That said, AI results are still hit or miss. Sometimes you'll get the perfect image on the first try, and other times you may struggle to achieve the look you want. For instance, I tried generating a background for this dress design featuring sheer floating panels, and the AI could never get it quite right. It seems to work better with simple silhouettes. Hopefully, Clo 3D will add a refined background option in the future to help clean up these errors. Now that we've explored the new AI Studio, let's move on to another updated feature, the 3D Pen. Previously, the 3D Pen could only be used to draw style lines directly on the avatar's surface. In the 2025.1 version, it now allows you to draw freely in 3D space. To use it, select the 3D pen from the toolbar in the 3D window. Starting from the avatar's center front, hold shift to align the cursor with the center guideline, click to set the starting point, and begin drawing your style lines. Holding command or control lets you create curved segments. I have drew a half skirt yoke on the avatar. Next, I will draw an A-line skirt. Starting from the center front point, then click P key and move the cursor in 3D space to the position you like and click second point to generate the segment line. I will continue to draw the skirt hem line. You can refine your lines by using Edit 3D Pen tool, which lets you reposition points and segments. Right-click to access more options such as deleting points or adding curve points for better shaping. With this tool, you can create an off-the-shoulder style directly on the avatar. Something that can be difficult to visualize when working solely in the 2D window. Additionally, when you create points in 3D space, right-click on the point when in Edit 3D Pen mode will give you the option to add circle around avatar. 
making it easier to draft sleeve patterns. By the way, you can only add a circle to a single arm, the neck, or one side of the leg. It won't allow you to place the circle on both legs at the same time. Once you're finished, use the flatten tool to select all the pieces, then press enter or return to generate the patterns in the 2D window. Overall, this new feature offers a flexible way to build volume in 3D window. You can also use it to create headpieces, accessories, or unique silhouettes. However, I personally find the 3D pen challenging to control, especially for precise curves. Most patterns still require significant adjustment to achieve the correct shape afterwards. Still, if you are already comfortable drafting with the 3D pen, this update will feel like an exciting and powerful improvement. The next feature I like to demonstrate is seamless blocking. In the 3D window, I created a jumpsuit and I wanted to add contrast colors along the sides of the legs. Using internal polygons, I drew the sections where I would add the color blocking. Previously, to achieve this look required using cut and sew to divide all the internal lines into individual pieces, then assigning new materials and colors to each pattern. With CLO 2025.1, the process is much simpler. In the 2D window, you can use the trace tool. Hold shift to select the internal lines you want to turn into seamless blocks. Right-click and choose Trace as Seamless Block Line. From there, you can use the Transform Pattern tool to select each block and assign a new color or print. This function is particularly useful for knitwear designs. In addition to the Trace tool, you can also use the Edit Pattern tool to select a segment line, right-click, and choose Offset as Seamless Block Line to create seamless blocking quickly and efficiently. The last update feature I'd like to introduce is the denim wet wash effect. Start by selecting a material from the object browser and then go to the material type options in the property editor. You'll notice a newly added denim option. Once you choose denim, the wet process settings will appear below. There are six wash effects available, plus a custom option. Here are the wash descriptions provided by CLO 3D. Number 1. Rinse wash. It gives denim a clean and slightly softened look. The fabric retains its original color, but with a more even tone and a softer feel. Number 2. Enzyme wash. It results in a softer fabric and a slightly faded appearance. It provides a more broken in feel without significant color loss. Number 3. Stone Wash. It creates a worn and faded appearance. 
The use of pumice stones produces a pronounced contrast between light and dark areas, giving the denim a distressed look. Number 4. Acid Wash. It creates a heavily contrasted marbled effect. The denim has distinct light and dark splotches, resulting in a bold, aged look. Number 5. Bleach Wash. It lightens the denim's color, ranging from subtle lightening to near white, depending on the intensity and duration of the process. The fabric may show signs of distress and color variation. Number 6. Ozone Wash. It fades the denim, resulting in a uniform and subtly lighter shade. This method reduces environmental impact and maintains fabric integrity. Let's test how this feature works on fabric. I've imported a denim fabric from the fabric folder into the object browser, and I'll apply each denim wash effect to view the render results. As you can see, they all appear quite similar when in the default setting. That's why each wash effect comes with its own set of adjustment options. You can fine-tune them to achieve the desired look. Here's a quick overview of the adjustment options. Concentrations controls how strong the base color map appears. Blending adjusts how the wash interacts with the fabric. Absorbency determines how deeply the effect spreads into the fabric. Cycle duration Longer cycles remove more dye, making denim lighter. Seam abrasion enhances puckering effects on seams for added realism. I would recommend experimenting with these sliders to see how each adjustment affects the denim's washed appearance. So, let's test it again. I've uploaded a dress design and added a washed denim texture to the front panel. This time, I'll apply each wash effect and make adjustments accordingly. And here are the render results. As for the custom option, it allows you to upload your own denim texture map. You can also change the base fabric color with any of the wash effects. When I first discovered the denim wash effect, I was really excited. However, after testing it, I realized it does not generate denim wash textures. Instead, it mainly adjusts the shade, tone, and intensity for each wash effect. While I was a little disappointed, I do appreciate that Clo 3D has introduced more options to help create fabrics that look more natural and realistic. And that's a wrap for this review of Clo 3D 2025.1 updated version. I focused on the features most relevant to design and pattern making, but there are plenty of other exciting updates worth exploring. You might find something really useful for your workflow, so definitely check them out. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials and reviews. I'll see you in the next video.